I'm Chef Dave, and I'm here today to introduce us to circles, circumference, and pi. And speaking of pi, hope I don't burn my fingers here. Okay, there's the pi. Now this is P-I-E, okay? This is P-I-E. Now, I want to introduce us to uh, what a circle is. Here's a great circle on the outside edge of that pie. Okay? Now, this red line going straight through the center from one side to the other, that's called the diameter. So if I made a cut from one side to the other, that is the diameter that goes across, okay? Now this green line right over here, that is a radius. It, it kind of is like a, a ray that goes out from the center point, kind of like the sun, and then it goes over to the side here. So I could make a ray just like this, to the center, then to the outside, then there is my nice piece of raspberry pie, okay? Now, so we have the diameter there, a ray here, there's our circle, okay? Then there's a few things that I want to go over here. Now, circle comes from the Latin word, you know, the old Romans, the ancient Romans, they used the word circulus, and from that we get circle. And in fact, their word for ring was very close to our circle, it was circus. In fact, most circuses, they have two or three rings where the animals and performers do, do their shows, okay? All right, now, but the Greeks, they gave the name to the middle line, diameter. Now, dia means across, and meter means to measure. So the Greeks said to measure a circle across is called a diameter. Okay? Now, the word radius, it comes from the word ray. Kind of like how the sun sends rays to Earth through space. This center point of a circle is kind of like the sun that sends a ray out just like this. So this ray or radius goes from the center to the outer edge of the circle. Okay. Now on the very edge of the circle is what's called the circumference. That's kind of like the, you know, the outer ring of the circle. So this blue right over here, that is the circumference. And circumference basically means kind of like circle, circum is circle, and ference is kind of like a circle fence, a fence that goes around the circle, okay? Now I said I would introduce us also to the word pi. Well, there's a different pi. And that pi is an ancient Greek symbol, really an ancient Greek letter. P-I says pi. Here's that ancient Greek letter, which is our mathematical symbol. Now here's what pi means. Pi means that if we go over to this big one here, if we take the diameter of any circle, what we can do is we can take three of those diameters, one, two, three, and then there's a little bit left over. Every single time, if we go back here now, every single time there's one, two, three diameters around the circumference and a little left over, okay? Now, the ancient Greeks, after, you know, measurements of probably hundreds or thousands of round objects, they, they noticed a, a pattern. 
whenever they would measure around a circle, they always found that the circumference was about three and a little bit times each diameter. Okay? Now let's see if this works with our Raspberry Pi. Here's our Raspberry Pi. Now it is almost exactly eight inches across at the diameter. Okay? Then, if we take our little handy measuring paper here, we go around this like that, we find we find that the diameter of 8 inches is equal to a circumference of a little more than 3 times that 8. Okay? So we really could take this diameter, start here, 1, 2, 3, and then just a little bit left over. Okay. Now that proportion that every single circle has, that the circumference is, is a little more than three times the diameter, that portion is what the ancient Greeks called pi. So if we look at a pattern that some of the Greeks saw, if a certain circle had a unit measurement of 1, they noticed that the circumference averaged out to 3.14. And if it was 2, well, 2 times 3 is 6, and a little over that, 6.28. And then 3 times 3 is 9, a little over that was 9.42. And a unit measurement of 4 came out to 12.56. And for every single circle, this worked. So that pi was always this proportion where one diameter across was equal to three diameters and a little extra. And so we call in decimal terms pi is 3.14. Okay? All right, I hope that was a good introduction to circles, circumference, and pi. All right?